Hello, this is Second Mate Swapnil Singh, and in this video, we are going to see the framework of call rec. This is one of the commonly asked question in Second Mate orals. So, without wasting any time, let's start. Call rec is divided into six part and four annexes. We will look into each one of them. Part one, general. The first three rules of ROR comes under this part. The rule number one is application. Rule number two is responsibility, and rule number three is definitions now coming to part b part b is steering and selling rules it is divided into three sections first one conduct a vessel in any condition of visibility that is rule number four to rule number 10 then we have conduct a vessel in sight of one another rule number 11 to rule number 18 and then we have conduct a vessel in restricted visibility rule number 19 now let's jump into each one of them. Section 1, conduct of vessel in any condition of visibility. It is rule number 4 to rule number 10. This means that you can use rule number 4 to 10 ko kabhi bhi use kar sakte ho inside of one another and even in restricted visibility. You have to use these rules. And trust me guys, rule number 4 to 10 should be word by word. If you ask the examiner, pooche hi pooche ka, it's best that you mug up word by word kar lo aur so that the chance of passing is extremely high. Part B, Section 2, Conduct a Vessel in Sight of One Another. This is Rule number 11 to Rule number 18. So, these rules are applicable in case when you can see the other vessel. When both the vessels are in sight of one another, then these rules are applicable. Now, we move to Section C of Part B. With the name, it is very clear that this rule applies in case of restricted visibility. Now, next part, Part C, that is Light and Saves. It consists of Rule number 20 to Rule number 31. Guys, pause the video and remember the name of the rules. I am not reading that aloud because that will make the video longer and that will be of no help. So please pause the video and go through it. It is very important for the orals. Next part, part D, that is sound and light signals. Uh, it is from rule number 32 to rule number 37. Then coming to next part, part E, that is exemption. It consists of rule number 38, just the rule number 38. Rule number 38 says that steps which comply with the 1960 collision regulation and were built or already under construction when the 1972 collision regulation entered into force may be exempted from some requirements for the light and sound signals for a specified period. Next part, part F is verification of compliance with the provision of the convention. It consists of rule number 39, 40 and 41. We will go in deep in the coming videos, so stay tuned. Then we have annexes in ROR. The call reg include four annexes. Annex 1, Positioning and Technical Details of Light and Shapes. This annex talks about the vertical positioning and the spacing of lights and even the horizontal spacing, the horizontal arc of visibility. These all things are given in the Annex 1. Then we have Annex 2, Additional Signals for Fishing Vessel, Fishing in Close Proximity. That is a very simple rule that we'll go through in the next video. Uh, then we have Annex 3, Technical Details of Sound Signaling Appliances. Then we have Annex 4, that is all about the distress signals. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.